me life simmer and welcome to the sims 3 generations lp season 2 part 1 what a mouthful anyways yes it's fine let me tell you let me tell you you guys have been requesting this like crazy since last year uh for those who don't know i started a sims 3 generations lp about a year ago and it is my most popular lp hands down um i feel like i just the crowd loved it so <laughs> Um, this is probably my most highly requested video ever, uh, so it's finally here, and it's going to be like our summer series, and it's absolutely going to be my favorite LP, I can already tell, because I, first of all, love the family, there's a whole, you know, I don't know, we've been through a lot with this family, um, so if you're new to my channel, and you haven't watched my Generations LP, I did sound like a man, because... I was a man, but I will link it down below, uh, part one of Generations, and you guys can kind of see where it all started, because it's a lot different, you know, than where we are now. Anyways, so let me tell you guys a little bit about this family in case you are new, and we'll kind of revise for those who, you know, already watched it, but maybe just want to clarify some things and make sure you guys got the lowdown. So here we are with the family. For those who don't know, I started off with two sims in the very, very beginning. We're going to go down the family tree is what we're gonna do okay so it all started with two sims justine and mr joseph benderson they had four children and unfortunately jay is not in the town yet i have to find him in my saves because uh, i downloaded all these sims from the exchange but i will go into that anyways jay will be joining us i promise <laughs> Um, so we have Ava, who is the youngest. Um, apparently she's our stepsister, but she's really not. She's our full sister. <laughs> I don't know why it's saying that. All right, well, these are her full sisters, okay? Uh, Ava Fenderson. Ava, she's like the black sheep of the family. Penelope was supposed to be the black sheep, but actually Ava came out and shocked everybody. Uh, Luna Fenderson, probably... I know a majority of, you know, the viewers' favorite character is Luna Fenderson. Um, there is Penelope, which is the girl we're playing with right now. She was the second born, and she went to boarding school, and Penelope. Um, and then she married Zane Santiago, and then they had a baby, Kendra Santiago. And they do have a brother, and I will introduce him most of you guys already know who, who he is. I'll most likely introduce him in the next part because he is a big part of this family. And his wife, Tori, they are they are something else. Tori is... You guys will learn. Um, so yeah, that is the family. And we cannot forget about Snuggle, Snuggles Fenderson. She's not on here because she's not part of the family. But Snuggles is pretty much... Um, a imaginary friend that we made real and it's Luna's best friend but I like to consider her a part of the family and for those who are wondering what happened to Buster the dog he died um yeah I was filming the intro and he died so the more you know anyways so yes here's the family that we are going to be playing with for season two I like to still call them Fendersons because you know Fenderson's where, where it's at but they're actually Santiago's because Zane Zane is a Santiago so he's very hot by the way he is very very hot I'm gonna have him go ahead and change into his everyday wear really really quickly because he is a hot tamale this is him yes um and here is Penelope being Penelope adorable sippy sippy also I'm going to uh, make Zane and Penelope young adults all over again um, so we can really li live their lives um, for those who don't know Penelope unexpectedly uh, got pregnant um, in the last season and had Miss Kendra right here um, so yeah she's so cute look at her she's so cute I don't know where she got the hair she has black hair that happened i don't know um because her mom didn't have it and neither did zane i really don't know um so yeah everybody this is the family i freaking love them and we'll go ahead and show you guys the house actually so if you download these sims on the exchange which you totally can i will link that down below you 
right off the bat get 100,000 simoleons and I was like okay why do I have all this money I don't want all this money so what I did is decorated the house and then pretty much gave them no money left <laughs> um, so I will show you guys what it looks like so over here we have a Prius C which is really really awesome um, it's orange because I love cars in this color and it actually reduces your household bills which is also really really cool um, so right out front here, oh, we live in an apartment, by the way, here in the beautiful city of Lucky Palms, where it all started. Uh, so pretty much, here is our apartment. It's in the middle of nowhere. Um, we will eventually move out, you know, but for now, we're living in this apartment. So out front, we have one of these little buggy thingies where Kendra can ride it and, you know, have fun. Then when we walk in, we have a bookshelf and our living room, which I think is absolutely to die for. So yes, this is our living room. We have a laptop, um, some toys for Kendra, a little bathroom right here, and a kitchen. Super, super simple. Here's the backyard. Um, for those who don't know, Penelope is actually a green thumb. So, you know, I got her a couple of pots to begin planting some Hot. No, I'm kidding. To begin planting some plants, a grill, and a really, really cute little sandbox that actually just came with the um, latest Sims 3 store um, set. So yeah, I did a review on that. Well, an overview slash review. I'll link that down below too. If we move up the floor, we have two bedrooms. Here is Zane and Penelope's bedroom. Super cute, super simple, and mature, which is definitely not Penelope, but, you know, here's her room. And then right here is um, Kendra's room. Super, super cute, colorful. It has a butterfly theme, and, uh, yeah, really, really like it. And, of course, just another bathroom. Nothing, nothing too special, <laughs> just a bathroom. So that is our home. Now, before we start the gameplay, this part's a majority of it is just going to be a majority. I said that's so weird. A majority of it is going to be me just kind of telling you guys about The Sims because I just want to make sure we really indulge ourselves in the greatness <laughs> um, because I really do love these Sims. Anyway, so here's Penelope. She's over-emotional, insane, neurotic, dramatic, and a green thumb. She's pretty much the craziest combination, like, literally. She's over-emotional, like, she's insane. She's just, she really is insane. So, you guys will definitely see that. Um, she reminds me a lot of her mom, because her mom was crazy, too. Her mom, Justine, literally missed every graduation Every birthday, I swear, um, I'm pretty sure she even missed a wedding. So that, that just says it all. Anyways, um, her favorite color is lime. She loves autumn salad, and she likes Chinese music. Zing Santiago. He is rebellious, a great kisser, a party animal, irresistible, and eco-friendly. He loves the color orange, and he likes grilled cheese sandwiches, and he likes rap music. Little baby Kendra, who is still growing and developing, is insane, like her mom, um, and easily impressed. Uh, she likes Digitunes, uh, grilled, oh, cheese tofu steak. She's never had it, but apparently she likes it. And she loves the color yellow. So, yes. Now there's like the whole family here that we could just go into, but you guys will definitely see them in the game because... This is Generations, and that's exactly what it's going to be. So, I feel like in this Season 2, we're going to be dealing with some different things, like, unfortunately, funerals <laughs> and stuff like that. But, you know, they'll be different. Um, but we're going to go ahead and clean that up really quickly. And we actually need to get Penelope and Zane a job because they are still unemployed. So, let's go ahead and tickle her. I'm actually thinking Penelope is going to do the daycare career because I never really explored it too, too much with Justine. Like I kind of did, but I kind of didn't. Uh, so I think we're really, really going to indulge on that. Um, so she's going to recycle that. I don't know why there's a floating book over here. I'm confused. Why is that? I don't, I don't know. We're actually going to sell that. 
Alrighty, so I'm thinking Zane. What does he want to be? Doesn't say. Let's see. I'm feeling Zane needs something a little bit different because, I don't know, I just feel like he needs something different. Let's go ahead and have him sign up. Rebellious, great kisser, party animal, irresistible, and eco-friendly. What in the world would Zane be? <laughs> um, I'm thinking he might be a police officer. Yeah, let's have him be a police officer. That'd be kind of fun. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do, 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 do. find a profession. Uh, not a firefighter. Right here, daycare. Yep, we're doing it all over again. Crying children and erotic moods are not for everyone. Very true. Um, so yeah, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And let me tell you, the daycare is a lot of work. But it's really great when you do the whole daycare scheme, or not scheme, what the fuck? The whole daycare profession, especially when you have kids yourself, especially when you have toddlers and babies, because they can be with you, and it's just, it's a good thing. Trust me. I mean, our house is pretty tiny, but um, it will be very hectic. But I feel like I'll just throw some of them in the backyard if we have to. Just throw them back there. All right. So there we go. He's going to go ahead and head home. And I feel like the whole eco-friendly thing is going to get old really quick. Because, you know, he's going to be taking taxis and stuff. Actually, why did he take a taxi? Look, why do we have so many big lemons? Get out of here. I don't need you, big lemons. Making some money, though. Huh? There you go. He's taking the Toyota Prius C. Isn't... I just love this car. I really do. But you know a car I really, really like? The Altima. Yeah. And the Versa. I think those are really pretty. <laughs> um, but, um... Oh my gosh, this car is fucking slow. Really? Is he a slow driver or is it really that slow? That is so slow. Anyways, um, he works from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I actually went ahead. Oh, what's wrong with her? She smells. I went in and customized the town just a little bit and I still will be. I need to continue to add in, you know, little things here and there. But, you know, I, I did switch things around, like the festival grounds are actually this, which is really cool, and I think it's neat. And um, I might even put the original festival grounds back and um, just have this kind of as like a little theme park. I actually need to go in and customize it myself and put a merry-go-round in here and all that fun stuff. But it's just, you know, it's nice. It's like a little theme park almost. So I went ahead and did that. Um, and I also added in, like, a legit, like, coffee house. Uh, right here, we have a legit little coffee house, and it's so cute. So if you come in here, you can come get your coffee and some snow cones, and what's over here? Some energy drinks, I don't know, some soda, and some candy. So yeah, you know, I like it in here. So yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, what's another thing I got, actually? I know I play something else. Oh, right here, the Le Cinema Plum Bob. I went in here and customized the movie theater, which this is actually from The Sims 3 store. I went in here, customized it, customized it, that doesn't make sense, customized it just a little bit, you know, editing. I can't even speak right now because I'm so excited. Adding in. Um, you know, some snacks and popcorn and some food registers and stuff like that. So you could always come in here and watch some movies. And I don't know, there's going to be a lot added into this town. Um, I just thought it would be kind of fun. So we're going to go ahead and have Zane try to teach Miss Kendra here how to talk. Or I mean, not to talk, but to walk. And let's see. What did she want to do with her? Snuggle, Kendra. Oh, We're actually going to go ahead and buy a stroller really quickly. Strollers came with generations and they're amazing. We're going to buy the Twinbrook stroller or should, I think we're going to buy that one. 
there's two. There's that one, and then there's like the fancy one, the Air Stroll LX. I kind of like this one though. It's just, I, it's always been my favorite. All right, we're gonna do this one. And Move Objects On is actually on. Whoops. It's by Mo. Okay. Go on, Zane. Try to teach Kendra how to walk. I feel like that's daddy's business. She's so cute. Go by Dean. Gibby. <laughs> oh, and that's actually another thing that we need to buy. Because I I told you guys this is kind of like a expansion pack based ex expansion. That makes no sense. I'm all over the place because I, I'm like in shock that I'm filming this. I'm like so excited. Um, But I told you guys this is kind of not an expansion pack. Expansion pack based uh, LP, but at the same time, it kind of is. I do want to, you know, definitely involve a lot of things from generations, but you know, it's it's kind of an all-in-one. We're probably going to do things that are not just generation based. I don't know how to explain it. None of my LPs are strictly one LP, if that makes any sense. Um, but I do definitely want to incorporate a lot of the generations aspects that I did in season one but I definitely want to continue to do them you know what I mean um because they're classic you, you got to <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and purchase a video camera we're gonna purchase the really nice video camera right here and we will put it on the table and we're gonna go put this in our inventory really quickly when Snuggles is calling us. <laughs> I guess she's going to have a conversation with Snuggles. Um, sure, Snuggles. If you want to talk, we'll talk. She's like, uh, Snuggles, this is kind of weird that you're calling me. <laughs> so if you watched my uh, Pets LP, you might have seen these faces actually in Appaloosa Plains because I did place them, but you know, this is the actual LP continuing their lives. Alright, come on Kendra, do it girl. She's like, Dad, you're funny. I wanna... <sighs> He's so hot. He really is so hot. I just love that. I love men in beanies. <laughs> I just do. Um, I'm actually addicted to guys with tattoos. To me, that is just mm -mm, good. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking we might actually go visit the family tonight. Um, just so you guys can see the house and everything. I'm thinking we will take a trip over there. Oh. They're still, you know, working on this over here. I actually, ooh, that's what I need to use. Um, because I turned, um, you know, plum bobs and skill points and everything off. Um, let me turn that back on. Hide, headline, effects, false. What the fuck? I hate when I do this. Hide, headline, effects, well, there we go. So, like I was saying, now the plum bobs are there. We are, see, this is how crazy she is. That she can do this. That's a problem. I'm actually thinking I'm going to have Zane and Kendra stay here and kind of do what they've been doing. But we're going to go ahead and invite Oat. Oat. Said that weird. Um, we're gonna invite out um, her mom or her sister. We'll invite out her sister, Luna, and we're gonna actually head to a bar, sort of resort thingy. I don't know. It's the Palm Tree Club. It is a place where you, they can just get some drinks and relax together and catch up. So you guys can see Luna, still crazy as ever, uh, awkward as ever. 
<laughs> that's still her. So yeah, we're gonna head there. I just, this girl is so insane. It's summertime and look what she's wearing. She is so insane. <laughs> she reminds me so much of her mom. It's unreal. Oh, there was Snuggles. What were they doing? I don't know. I think Ava was the, oh, I'm, <laughs> this town, where was it? Where was it? I just saw it. Hold on. I have to find something. Hold on. Is it here? No. I just saw, like, a gang of horses. If you guys saw, re rewind this just a little bit and look. There's a gang of horses here. Oh, here's one. Here's one. There was a few of them. No, there was a few horses. That, oh my gosh, I swear, Lucky Palms is infested with horses. Like, they come in gangs, and they will beat you and jump you. I'm, like, still the same old Lucky Palms, honestly. Here's Luna. I don't know what she's wearing. She really does look so awkward. <laughs> yeah, this is her sister, everybody. I don't know why it's all slopey like this. Oh, Ava came over. That's kind of weird. Ava's at the house. Um, we're gonna, oh, I wish we had more influence points. I would, uh, convince her to fight somebody. <laughs> um, awkward, boring, uneventful. These are just three of them. Whatever, whatever. Don't give a fuck. Don't tell me she's leaving. <gasps> she's leaving, Luna, because you're upset she's gonna leave. Bad time out. Wow, Luna. Luna's just so lame. I love her, though, for it. She really is. She probably left because she wants to go home and, I don't know, hang out with Snuggles. <laughs> so we're going to just come over here and just order a drink. And I'm pretty sure it said Ava stopped by. Yep, she did. This is the youngest sister, Ava. This is what she looks like. For those who don't remember, she's a teenager. Totally the black sheep of the family. Um, but yeah, that's her. She's just coming over to watch our TV and eat our yogurt no big deal who's the yogurt honestly i think it was zane's but i don't know how are these two still not done they've been working on this all day it's probably taking it easy on her no way penelope santiago welcome welcome no no you won't be paying full price today cool Lovely. We're just gonna go ahead and head home too after we finish that drink. Or not. 8 p.m. They're hungry. Come on, you two, hurry up. They're <laughs> taking so long. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. She now knows how to walk. And here's Miss Insane walking in her wedding dress. She's going to come over here and actually serve some mac and cheese for dinner. And let's see. She's probably a little hungry. Actually, no. Oh, she has to go potty. We will totally, totally potty train her. So let's go ahead and get a little doo -doo -doo potty chair. That definitely won't work. Let me turn move objects off, too. Okay, uh, we will put this... Get her a different one. Um, we'll get her this one. Let's come up here really quickly, and... We'll actually have her mom do it. Oh, wait, she was about to prepare something to eat. So, Kendra, really quickly... Stop playing with your imaginary friend. Go over there. And your dad. Oh, he's going to attack her with cloth. Look at her walking. Look at her go. Ava's just over here crying about Buster. Okay. Zane, go ahead and come up here. Damn it. And potty train Kendra. And continue cooking that. Okay, Ava, if you're going to be here, sit your little ass down. Do your homework. What? Oh, some 
someone around I, I feel like this is luna by the way everybody someone around town has been spreading rumors that penelope santiago has peed herself in public mm. it's not true <laughs> it's not that one i think we might actually fight um the system for oh my god kendra come here she's like trying to run away honestly this is real life she would have fell down those stairs Kendra! Pick her up. Pick her up, Zane. Pick Kendra up. Pick her up. Put her in her... That baby. That baby has a mind of its own. I swear. Go here, Kendra. Oh my god, she's, she really does have a mind of her own. And she, she shit herself. Oh my god. God, I wanted to potty train you. All right, Zane's off for the night. He's like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. So your wife made you some really nasty burnt tofu dogs for being such a great dad. And she's actually heading to bed. No, wake up and put your kid. Well, first give her her, change her dirty diaper, give her a bath and put her to bed. And she's hungry. Oh my gosh. Hold up. There's a there's a few things we have to do. Put Kendra in her high chair while Zane eats. And Ava's just here doing her homework. Whatever. Let's go feed her. Zane has work in the morning. I mean, so don't we, but not like her or him. What am I talking about? And what just broke? I feel like everything's going wrong. Ava, leave. Go home. You clogged our toilet. Go home. All right. He's going to bed. She's going to go shower and take care of the baby. All right. Ava, go home. It's like 1 a.m. Ava, go home. Just leave. Go home. Seriously. All right, we're just putting Kendra to bed. She's going to sleep in like a nasty diaper. Oh, my God. Ava, get out of here. Get out of here, Ava. Leave. If she takes care of her, then she can stay, but still. All right, whatever. What, Zane? Okay, he's puking. I don't know why. Maybe he's pregnant. Who knows? Oh, my God, what a crazy night. What a crazy night. I forgot how crazy these effing sims are, honestly. Alrighty, guys, so I think everybody's going to bed. I could be wrong. Everybody's, like, in such a horrible mood, and this is the first part. That should tell you how crazy these sims are. Um, so we are going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you didn't, shove that thumb right up your butt. No, <laughs> still give it a big fat thumbs up. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, yes, yeah, subscribe, comment, let me know. I don't know what you want me to know. Ooh, busting rhymes. Just kidding. If I rapped, that should be a crime. Hmm. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this part here. Like I was saying, I love you all so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.